there are plenty of different datasets available out there. Naturally, with the diversity of different applications and domains, such as medicine, finance, text or image classification, there is also a vast variety of datasets. And data can come in many, many different forms. In this video, we will give you a very brief overview of commonly used data types, followed by a short outlook on less conventional data types. Let's take another look at our example dataset. As we have mentioned in our previous video, our example dataset is represented as a simple table. Some of you might have already worked with a spreadsheet software such as Microsoft Excel. There are plenty of different data types you can choose from, for example, text, number, or date. In principle, however, they mostly come down to two different types of data, numerical data and categorical data. Numerical data is all about measuring and counting things, often also referred to as quantitative data. We can further split numerical data types into continuous and discrete data. Discrete data represents anything that can be counted. This means that you can list all possible values, even if it would take you quite some time. Examples for discrete values are, for example, the number of apples you buy in a supermarket, the number of students in a lecture, or how often you missed one, or the number of letters in a word. Discrete values, however, don't necessarily have to be finite, they can be infinite as well as the natural numbers show. Continuous data, on the other hand, describes any type of measurement. So, for example, how tall you are, how long does it take you get to back home, what is the distance between two points, or how much water is in your glass. Continuous data cannot be counted, but only described as an interval of numbers. Not being able to count the data in this context means that if you have an interval between 0 and 10, and you consider real numbers, you would never be able to list all of them. Looking back at our example dataset, however, we don't see any numeric values at all. So for the sake of this example, we also provide temperature as numeric values. Can you guess what type of numerical data this would be? All of the other data types we can see in our example dataset are categorical types, or also called qualitative data. Categorical data usually describes characteristics such as gender, hometown, or the weather outlook. As with numerical data, we can split categorical data into two types, ordinal and nominal values. Nominal values are, simply put, just a description of the corresponding characteristic. So, for example, if the attribute is about the species, the values could say dog, cat, or bird. While they provide more details on the characteristic, they do not inherit any kind of natural ranking or order, which means they cannot be compared with each other. Categorical values that do inherit an implicit natural ranking or order are called ordinal values. For example, if you have an attribute that describes the size of something, like text, you could find values such as small, medium, and large, which comes with an obvious ordering from small to large text, as an example. Can you identify which of our attributes contains nominal values and which ordinal? If you said weather forecast is nominal, while the others are ordinal, well, then you are correct. Besides numerical and categorical values, as mentioned, there are plenty of different data types. Some examples are images, videos, audio, graphs, text, or even some custom type of data that you needed for your project. For the scope of this course, however, we will focus only on tabular data that includes either numerical or categorical data, well, or a mix of both.